A blockbuster movie is tracking down Queensland Army veterans to take part in a big screen depiction of the Battle of Long Tan. Ex-soldiers who've served in Iraq and, Afg and uh, Afghanistan are being invited to audition as extras for a once-in-a-lifetime chance to relive part of history. The Battle of Long Tan, a defining moment in Australia's military history. Many stories of bravery in those trying conditions have been recreated for the small screen. God, it was hot. Now those stories are hitting the silver screen and Australian film producer Martin Walsh is working with the Queensland film industry to find Iraq and Afghanistan veterans to relive the long tan battle as extras. And just having, uh, you know, experienced military veterans uh, in the film, you know, on set is really going to bring uh, another dimension to, you know, the quality of the production. The invitation has excited former soldiers in Brisbane. Get to play army and pretend. I think that would be that would be pretty fun. It's the first time I can think of that this has happened, certainly inside Australia. Extras would star alongside Australian actor and Viking star Travis Fimmel, who will play 85-year-old Harry Smith, the man who led the 105 Anzacs into battle. For more recent veterans, an acting role would be a chance to recognise their forebears. We sort of look up to them, you know, having it a little bit tougher, probably not um, as well supported with, with technology and equipment like the sort of modern day soldier is. This is a fantastic idea if we can use ex-veterans that live here in Queensland to be extra, extras on this long tan movie. The movie will be shot at two private properties at Narang on the Gold Coast and Kingaroy in the South Burnett. You know, I work very closely with my local RSLs. We're more than happy to get a list to them. Really the last epic answer films that were made were Gallipoli and the Light Horseman and our Anzac stories um, just aren't being told globally. Danger Close will start filming in Queensland next month. Isabel Rowe, ABC News, Brisbane.